This is another flip. We got a 1997 Honda Civic. What I did is I changed the head gasket, buffed the whole car, cleaned up the rims, put the tire stuff on the tires, painted this back bumper with dupli color paint. This paint is not exactly the same as the car paint. This paint is actually uh, Cypress Pearl Green. This is Forest Green. All right, but no big deal. It's pretty close. Uh, so right now, what we're doing is we're taking pictures. Cindy's taking pictures over there. She's getting ready to post it on Craigslist. She just took pictures of the exterior, and now she's taking pictures of the interior. And we're going to clean the carpet again and the seats because the seats are a little dirty. I don't like how dirty those are. All right, I did them a few times. We're gonna hit them again with soap and water. We got 133,000 miles on this car. And so now the, ra the radio works, everything's good to go. But this is probably selling for like, I wanna say between 25 and 28. Okay, we got it on Craigslist now. We got the car up for 2750, that's 133,000 miles and all the pictures are done all right everything is good to go now what we're going to accept we're going to accept nothing less than i say 24 2500 all right set a minimum standard for what you want okay but always shoot high always aim high with your price and then let them bring you down all right that way they feel they get a deal but actually your price will be 24 2500 okay but you gotta let your customer, the person buying a vehicle, feel like they're getting a deal out of this. In which they are. This is a very good car. It is actually worth 26, but we're starting off at 27.50. Always high bought it, so when somebody comes back to low buy you, you can counter. Let's make separate accounts if you have to. But just keep it at the top as much as you can. And post them at 9 a.m. around lunchtime, which is noonish around there, three o'clock. 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, so in the evening when people get home, they can start researching and looking for vehicles. So post it from the evening on down. Now, before the car even sells, you want to make offers, all right? Just start making offers, even if you don't have the money. Just start making offers anyway. It doesn't matter. Like if the car is going for 1500 make an offer of 900 if it's going for a thousand, make an offer for five hundred. Now let's see what we got here. We got a '97 Civic, City Heights. That's right up the street from us, but it's salvage. I don't buy salvage cars. Let me read it anyways. It has 152,000 miles. Tranny's good. Oh, needs a new engine. No wonder why it's so low. Okay, but just just start making offers. But right right now, what we're doing is we're checking the market. We're checking to see what the vehicles are going for that is the same year as the one we just put on Craigslist. Okay? So, now, go back to the uh, other deal. Don't even click anything. Just go straight to this. 97, 2250. 97, going to show. 2750. That's what we just got ours up for. This is a totally different one. Okay? Keep scrolling up. 97, 2450. 1800. 3,000, we're looking at these numbers. This is just like comparable sales on a house. You're checking the comps, but in this case, we're checking the price on what the vehicles are going for, on the one that we just put up there. 97 Honda Civic here, 2,500. Right here, 400 bucks, what? So see, you gotta check that one. Let's see what it, what's wrong with it. I need someone who can pick it up, pick up beach, man. Beach, man, let's see what's wrong with it. I have no idea what's wrong with him, so he doesn't know. Okay, timing belt, maybe. Okay, so, like I said in the video, some people lie. He might know it's the timing belt. Um, these engines, these Honda Civic engines, are interference engines. You got a non-interference, and you have an interference engine. If this belt is broken, that means that the pistons and the valves hit each other. So this engine is just done. Anyway, let's move on. So you got to be careful with the timing belt stuff, all right? So let's keep checking what the 97s are going for. We got 3,000, 1,700, 
3,000. Okay, we're good. So we're going to keep ours at 2750. This is the market. This market doesn't lie. We don't even got to check uh, Kelly Blue Book because the prices are right here. This doesn't lie. This is the market. Whatever the people are putting out there, whatever they want, that's what's going to go down. So keep that in mind. And that's how you check the market and make offers. Make offers on these cars while you're selling them. All right, always make offers. Put out a ton of offers. Okay, we got it on Craigslist now. Now it's time to sell it. We got it on a busy street, and we got it up for twenty-seven fifty on Craigslist right now. All right, we got the little deal here. This is the eye attraction deal here, and uh, we're gonna sell it. Now the question is, am I gonna get twenty-seven fifty for it? I don't know. It depends, man. It depends on if whether or not you want to get greedy or not with if you get greedy you may have to wait for your price the 2750 but if you want to hurry up and sell it you can probably sell it right away just don't get greedy man that way you can keep on continuously moving fast with this because if you try to get a high price and highball everybody you might have to sit in on the market for like two weeks you don't got to wait for two weeks man just get rid of it and move on to the next flip all right so now that's it let's sell it so he had it on Craigslist for a thousand bucks then uh i called him up and made an offer for uh 1100 bucks and he tripped out he asked me he said why are you gonna offer me up i said because i want it man i want it so he said sure we sold the green one for 23.50 about a 4.11 so the profit on that was 10 50 profit right there. That was a fast flip too. She put it on Craigslist on a Thursday. Was it Thursday? She put it on Craigslist on a Thursday for a, at four o'clock in the evening. And then we sold it the next day around the same time, around four or five o'clock. At the, the very next day, like within 24 hours. We sold that thing for $23.50. Now it's a thousand dollars, a thousand fifty profit. So, what do you do with that money after you make that thousand? Actually, the whole thing was $23.50, but that's not all for you to spend. You got to put some more money back into another vehicle like this. We bought this ahead of that, ahead of time. So, like right now, we're making on we're making offers on cars already. But what you want to do is you want to use that money, take the thousand, take a portion of that. Try to take four, five hundred and purchase a vehicle for five hundred. But if you can't, if you got to go five, six, seven, eight hundred bucks, then use that and try to use the whole thousand, if you can, to uh, flip a whole nother vehicle. See, and that's how it works, man. Then the other money you have, use that for whatever. You know, just use it for whatever. But anyways, we're just gonna keep it going. And this is the next one, man. This is a 99 Honda Civic. No. And, oh, my bad. This is a, all this flipping stuff, man. There's a lot of stuff on the mind, man. This is a 99 Mazda 626, 2.5 liter, V6, 24 valve uh, engine. Picked up this one for 500 bucks. This needs a head gasket. So what I'm doing is I'm, pulling off the uh, heads and I'm going to change the head gasket and it also needs a windshield that windshield we just peeled the windshield loose yesterday check this out we just took this loose yesterday and so right now she's working on cleaning this one we actually bought this right after we bought that we bought this this from the junkyard the junkyard had a uh, half off sale the day we bought this, and we bought this for 24 bucks. What was it? 20 bucks. 29.99. Yeah, it's like, just call it like 22, 24 bucks around there for a windshield. That's unheard of, man. But anyway, she's what she's got to do is she's got to scrape all the old uh, polyurethane off this. You know, clean it up real good. Like she has the bucket there. 
razor blades to get it off. Then we're gonna slap it on this, but not today. Today we're just gonna focus on cleaning that. We're just gonna focus on cleaning that, and I'm gonna take off a few more things on this head. I mean, on the uh, engine to get it ready for the to pull off the heads. Let me tell you what's going on here. We need a windshield. We're gonna paint the tires on this. I mean the rims. Change the hubcaps. Uh, buff it out. She already did a just a quick cleaning. She vacuumed. She wiped down stuff because it was dirty. This car was nasty, man. This car had all kind of trash in it. I should have I should have saved it and showed you guys. But anyways, it looks pretty nice now. But she's still gonna go over it and clean the interior, shampoo it, like I showed you guys in the other video. She's gonna use the spray and uh, with soap and water, that's it. And then wipe the uh, chairs and just clean it, man. All we gotta do is just touch up all this area here. But then, uh, then that's it, man. Then uh, I'm gonna smog it, but then, we're gonna put it on Craigslist, sell it. Um, the market price on this car, I'd say about 20, you probably get 24, 25, 26, but I'm gonna aim high, man. I thought that green Honda, we took 2350, but we could have got like 26 out of that thing if we would have waited. But the thing about this car flipping business, you don't wanna get greedy, man. You don't wanna sit there and sit on a vehicle for two weeks when you could already have flipped one within that time so move them fix them flip them move them man move them fast just get get rid of them fast man but make sure you do good work okay let's crunch the numbers for the green honda civic we bought the car for 1100 bucks purchase price the repair cost the amount it took to fix it and get it done was 200 bucks the total we invested into it was 1300 bucks we sold the car for $2,350. Sorry about that, I messed up. We sold it for $2,350. Keep in mind, that's the ARV. That's the after repair number. Remember, you gotta know that number at the beginning, okay? And on that vehicle, we profited $1,050. We're actually using some of that money to put into this also. So, it doesn't matter, man. Just keep the money flowing. Keep the money flowing, man. Keep it going. Put the money right back into your next investment. Don't blow it all, man. You blow it all and then you game over, man. Don't blow your money. Use some of the money to buy another vehicle and to continue. And do it over and over and over, man. And when you post your cars on Craigslist, post them like every hour. I know it's crazy. Make a whole bunch of accounts. It doesn't matter. Make a whole bunch. Or use somebody else's too. Just keep posting them. The reason why is because you want to keep your ad at the top. You want to keep it at the very top of the list on Craigslist for whoever's looking for vehicles. Okay, so keep your ad fresh. And that's it, man. Uh, I'll be back with more tips and tricks. There's a ton of things to do when you're flipping a car. There's more than one way, man. I'm going to show you whatever I can, man. I'm going to show you everything I got, man. All right? And hopefully it'll help you out. One of the neighbors came up to me while I was doing the head gasket on that green car. And he looked at everything I was doing and it just overwhelmed him. Yeah, this is overwhelming, man, when you do this kind of stuff. But some of you can do this. But uh, that's what I do, man. I don't care. I take on the challenge, man. I love the challenge and stuff, man. Anyways, what he said was he said, uh, I don't know how you could do that, man. But the thing about it is that's the difference. That's, between, that's the difference between those who are committed to something and those who are just interested. If you're just interested in this, you ain't gonna hit it hard, man. You ain't gonna last, you know? You, you get excited about something, but then when it comes down to, to getting in the trenches and getting down and dirty and making it happen, you buckle, man. You buckle under pressure. But if you're serious and you got passion for this, man, and you wanna do it, then get committed, man, and be serious. There's a quote that goes, success is not something that just happens. It is a reality that is created by those strong enough to exert control over their environment. Did you hear that? Strong enough to exert control over their environment. 
You create the environment, man. You create what you want to happen. You make it happen. Don't listen to any negativity, man. Like I always say, stay positive, man. Keep your head up. Don't forget, with God, all things are possible, man. Put Jesus Christ first. He died on the cross for your sins, man. Don't play games with your soul. Like I said, keep smashing out there, man. Don't ever give up. Go get it. Show up and show up big. Handle it.